<laughs> so I've been living over here for 10 years. Uh, I've actually learned quite a lot about myself during that time. I've actually found out that the Irish gift of the gab does exist, but it only belongs to Irish guys. And that's because we have to chat Irish girls. And they are the most harpy, vicious tongue bitches on the face of the planet. And it was only natural selection and self demanded that we had to chat these freckle faced wonders into bed so we uh, could procreate as a species, you know? I, uh, I, I once was in Dublin one time and I saw this Italian guy try and chat up an Irish girl. And it was great. It was like being in a train wreck. Or, well, watching a train wreck that you weren't in. And he's like, he's giving all the great lines like, in my country. You'll be a princess. And she rings and goes, In my country, be serving chips now. Fuck off! <laughs> Never seen an Italian move so fast before. <laughs> but, um, no, I'm, I'm actually married. Um, and my wife is Irish, so I've done that once. I'm never doing it again. Um, but the, uh, she's, uh, she's good. She's good for you. She's got a good sense of humor, which is just as well, because I suffer from something that's called backhanded insults. Uh, you know, things just come out of my brain without being filtered. And uh, we got married a year and a half ago, and we uh, we actually made our wedding rings together. Because you know women love to have that story about how you made the wedding rings? <laughs> but guys get our story too. Because we left the country within 30 days, we got the tax back. Nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys laughing at that one. Um, but no, so we're walking up uh, uh, George Street, and we're past the Ivy, and I look over to the Ivy and say, oh, I've never been there. And she goes, it's a bit of a meat market, you're not missing much. And then just caught her in the moment, I look her in the eye and I go, that's okay, I have all the meat I'll ever need. <laughs> now, now, my wife knows that's the best compliment she'll get. And she was pretty pleased with that, I got a pet, uh, pet on the cheek, and you know, and she went all gooey eyed. A smart man knows to stop there. <laughs> I'm not that smart man. I had to go on and say, it's a shame that meat's getting a bit old. Oh. <laughs> and starting to smell. <laughs> So many she's outside to marry me. Um